Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to another video. Today we are going to solve one of the common promises related problem which is we have to execute async task or async functions in parallel. So let's say you are given an array of or list of async functions and you have to execute them parallelly and once after all the functions have executed or all the promises have resolved you have to invoke the callback function that will return us the result. In the result, we will have two sets. One is if the promise is successful, we will have the outcome. And if the promises have failed, we will have the error. So let's get started. Let's implement this. The first thing we are to create is a test function. So create a sync task. What this will do is this will create a random promise. So we are going to use the randomness. To get a random value and then from this function we are going to return a new promise. That will either resolve or reject depending upon the randomness. So what we are going to do is we are going to run a set timeout that will help us to mimic the delay or the latency that this promise has resolved after this time. We are going to take the value. The value will be in the range from 0 to 10 as you can see and then we are going to multiply it by 1000 to get the seconds. So it will resolve between 1 to 10 seconds and then in the set timeout if the value is less than 5 then we are going to reject and we will pass a message error along with the value so this one is rejected else we are going to resolve and here we are just going to return the second cell Rather than the text, we are going to return the milliseconds, a random value just to, you know, for the demo purposes. So we have this function now, create async task. This will create a new promise and that will randomly resolve or reject. So let's test this once. Here I have a then block. This will be executed when the promise is successful. And then there is this catch block. This will be executed if the promise is rejected. So if you see over here in the randomness, if I reload, so we got an error because it was rejected. If I reload it again, again error. Reload it. Now this time it is going to pass I think because it's taking a delay around 8 to 9 seconds that's why it's not printed so 7 seconds okay so because the value was greater than 5 it got resolved and we got 7000 the value so uh, this is the randomness to mimic the parallel task now let's create an array of tasks and here we are going to execute this 1 2 3, 4, 5 and 6 tasks we have at a total. Now this task has to be parallelly executed. So what we will do is we will create this function const async parallel. This will take the task as well as the callback function. Now the task will be executed in parallel. Once all the tasks are executed, this callback function will be invoked and this callback function will hold two values. One is the list of errors and another is the list of passed or the written value from the promise. So let's create two arrays results and then errors. And also we are going to have the flag to determine how many tasks have completely finished. 
because these are promises right they will resolve at a random value so we have invoked them parallelly but um, some may resolve uh, or some may complete earlier and some may complete later so we will have to determine only when all the tasks are done then we have to invoke the callback it's not like for example let's say we are running this loop right so for each and then here we have the task So this is the loop. Now at the end you cannot just invoke this callback with the result sorry with the errors and the results because the tasks that are running they may resolve at a random time. So we cannot do like this. What we have to do is we have to track how many tasks are been done and then only we have to invoke the callback if all of them have been finished. So what we do here is to the task we add the then block to monitor the resolved values then we have the catch block so we have then we have catch block and then there is this finally block that we make use of and in the finally what we do is we increase the count so complete it plus plus now what happens is if the task is completed so if task if completed is greater than or equal to the number of tasks we had right that means all of the tasks are executed then only we are going to invoke the callback with the errors and the results so in the finally block after the execution of each of the async task what we do is we increase the count this help us to determine or track how many tasks has been finished and let's say some promise uh, results at the end very end so after that it has resolved we check again and if all the tasks are completed then we invoke the callback now this callback accepts the error and results so we have to store the errors so in case of error we'll push error and then in case of value we store it in the value so let's clear this and now if i come to us in parallel and i pass the task and then this callback function with the error and result and then i'm going to print this so here console dot error with all the error and then console dot log result with the result let me add a text over here just so that we know that what is coming from where so error and then here it will be result so if i clear this and now if the function executes let me reload you will see that few value will resolve we will reject depending upon the randomness because we because we are using randomness in our function so see it took in total of nine seconds so because the tasks are running in parallel the most longest task when it will resolve then only this callback function will be executed so we got the response in at a delay of nine seconds because that's the most time one of the task has taken all others were executing in the parallel so we got two errors error one and two and then we got four result out of the six tasks that we have executed so executing in parallel is we invoke all the async tasks simultaneously but only when the last of the task is done or finished we get the results so that's why if you see if there is any task with the most time you we get the response at the end of that much time only so let me clear this again let me reload and you will see that if there is any task right that takes the most time so you see the output at delay of that so i guess eight or nine seconds so eight seconds is there we got one result with the eight second all other five were rejected so that's why we got the output after a delay of 8 seconds.
so this is how we create or execute a sync task in parallel in the next video we'll see how to execute the sync task in sequence one after the another thank you for your time